Hey, what's up guys? Captain Ford Man here, back with another video. So today, what we're gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be doing a video of this guy taking his 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro to service at the, at the Toyota dealership. So, and as well in some of my future videos, I will be doing a full review of the Toyota dealership, or as you would call it, a tour. So, yeah, so let's get into this video, what we're focusing on. So, like I said, enough talking, let's get to the video. Oh yeah, and by the way, remember at the end of the video, remember to like, 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 comment, and subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Alright, let's get into this video. Ah, uh, what a lovely Tuesday to go and service my 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro Arctic version. Well, I better get going before the morning rush starts. Good morning, sir. What can we do for you today? Oh, hi. I just came back to service my 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro Arctic version. You know, you told me that I, you guys told me that I had to come back when it reaches 100 miles. All right. You can just have a seat right there. But before you do that, let us let us have the key for your truck, and then we'll have someone with you in a minute. All right. Thanks. So, I heard that someone needs his truck serviced. Oh, Roger, Roger, thank God you're here. I need a real MacGyver to fix my truck. Or at least someone that I can trust to service my car. Oh, don't worry. I'll have your truck ready in a jiffy. Alright, thanks, Roger. You're the best, man. Yeah, no problem. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenery of the Toyota dealership. All right, time to get to work. Oh, Paxton! Yeah, what's up, bro? I need you to go into the uh, the Toyota parts room and get some stuff that I'm gonna need for this 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, and at least to get it serviced. It's at 100 miles. All right. All right, Roger. All right, Roger. Here's all the stuff that you're gonna need to service that 2019 Tacoma. Thanks, man. No problem. So let me just name off all of them. This is the the 3.5 liter drill, and this is the power drill, regular original power drill. This is the wacky shacky. This is the power steering fluid, transmission fluid, oil, and the windshield washer fluid. And the helmet. Okay, sorry, I kind of made a mistake with these. So, this is the transmission fluid. This is the windshield washer fluid. This is the oil. And this is the... Uh, Oh jeez, I have no idea what this is. Okay, transmission fluid, oil, I, I mean transmission fluid, windshield washer fluid, uh, the oil, oh yeah, that's what I missed, the power steering fluid. Alright, so I have all of them. Alright, it's time to get to work. Okay, first of all, let's check the oil. Good. Power. 
power steering fluid. Oh my gosh, it's empty. All right, it looks like it's time to refill the power steering fluid. Now it's time to put in the transmission fluid. Okay, so apparently I do not need the windshield washer fluid because that's still full. So, yeah, let's move on. Now it's time to put in 25 more horsepower. And by the way, before I forget to tell you guys, this truck has 750 horsepower with 320 pound-feet of torque. So I'm adding 25 more horsepower to that 750. Wacky shacky time. <laughs> ah crap. I'll just do it with my hand one time. Wait, Diana? What are you doing? What are you doing calling me? Where are you? I'm at the Toyota dealership. You know, my job. Why are you calling me when I'm on my job? I'm doing a job now. First of all, how many times are you going to say job? And number two, I thought I told you to wash the dishes before you left. What? You're not the boss of me. I'm a grown man if you haven't realized up to now. Listen, you don't talk to me like that. Remember, I'm your mother. Yeah, my crazy mother. How dare you say crazy mother? You are gonna be perished, boy. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you now. Listen, you need to get off the phone right now so I can get back to my job. Because you're not gonna pay back for me. Or you are definitely not. I repeat, you are not going to convince my boss into rehiring me when I get fired because of you. I don't care if you get fired. <laughs> Phew. Boy, thank God she's not living in my house. <laughs> hey, Barack Obama just tweeted me on Twitter. I better answer back his message. Duh, I need to log off of Twitter and get back to work. Tweet about it. Duh, who asked you? And anyway, how did you even get up here anyway? To be honest, I really do not have any idea. Oh, what something typical. Just, just typical. So you're going to tell me that you're up here for no reason... Or even if it is for a reason, you do not know the reason. Yep. Well, I have something to tell you. You're a complete idiot, and you're a collective disappointment. Yeah, I know. Da, just shut up and get down. I have a job to finish. Who are you talking to? You're not the boss of me. I'm an employee, you know. Yeah, but I'm the head manager. Now you're gonna, gonna get down from here and get back to your station. All right, fine. Whatever you say, head manager. All right, now it's time to put that engine right back in. Hmm. 
There we go. Now let me replace the transmission. All righty. Alright guys, the MacGyver is back. So, what's the good news, Roger? Well, it came to me as if to ask you this one question. Do you ever drive that truck? What do you mean? I mean, well, it took you like a quite a long time to bring this thing into service. Not to say that anything is wrong with it, but I'm saying it took you a while. Where can I go? I can't go anywhere on this small even on a small piece of island. Well, I do guess you have a fact. But one question though. If this is St. Thomas, then how is this the Toyota of Orlando? Uh Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm blaming it on Bornadette because she put up the wrong sign when she was building the Toyota company. Hey, 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 you're in, I'm not involved in any of this. This is between Dome and you both. It has nothing to do with me. Besides, I didn't even build a Toyota dealership anyway. So why the heck would I even put up the wrong sign? Besides, since when did I come the sign person? Oh yeah, it was just now while we were previously talking. Ah, whatever. Alright, so am I in the clear? Yep. So how much is this gonna cost me? <sighs> cost you? Dude, in the Toyota dealership of Orlando, to get a service of a car or a vehicle that we have here, it is literally free. Only when you're coming to get the car fixed from like say an accident or if you damaged it yourself, then you gotta spend money. But if it's a service, then it's basically free. Everything is free. Okay, can I have a quick, quick second on the other side of the Toyota dealership? All right, I'll make it quick. I don't have to spend any money. 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 Alright, thanks, man. No problem, man. So, you gotta come back and service that truck when it reaches... Let's say 1,000 miles. Yeah, when it reaches 1,000 miles, you have to bring back the truck to service again. Alright, thanks. Alright guys, thanks for watching Captain Ford Man, another one of my videos. So, like I said, um, yeah, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing now. So, that's it for the video. So, stay tuned for another awesome video of the Lego Toyota dealership. So, peace.